Welcome to our video devotional for Friday, September the 22nd, 2017. We're looking at Psalms 119, 125, and it says, I am your servant. Give me understanding that I may know your testimonies. Yesterday in verse 124, we heard David state that he was God's servant. He repeats this in verse 125. David knew his place both in terms of God and in terms of people. He didn't just want to be taught. He wanted understanding. You see, understanding provides insight into why God has arranged his testimonies the way that he has. You know, one of the most difficult, at least in my opinion, the subjects to approach with anyone who believes in free moral agency, that is the power to make our own choices concerning both here and eternity, is this. Where does my choice interfere with God's preference preference for my life, and who wins in this case? You see, if I say that I am a servant, I, I actually do what Romans 6.16 6 declares, to whom you present yourselves, slaves to obey, you are that one slaves whom you obey, whether of sin leading to death or of obedience leading to righteousness. All of us will either be in bondage to sin leading to death or in bondage to righteousness leading to everlasting life. David says, I'm your servant. Give me understanding so I will see the folly of going my own way, even in oppressive times under the duress of my enemies. Hmm. Give me understanding as your servant so that I can submit to your to the process you allowed to come my way to develop my character to a level more consistent with Christ's character. I recall being taught the lesson of submitting to authority when I was a young pastor. The head of the organization I was licensed to minister with stopped me from correcting someone who was lying. So he was my supervisor and he took authority over me in a meeting dealing with adultery. I heard God speak so clearly to me in that moment to submit to that authority. And the result of the meeting would be that I would no longer be responsible for the results of that meeting, but the man who was over me would be responsible for the results of that meeting. I, I took that as a clear reference to Ezekiel 33, where God said, if I didn't deal with one who was sin, sinning and warned them that their blood would be on my shoulders. Now I believe in submitting to the authority, the blood went on the shoulders of my supervisor. I, I gave some sketchy details intentionally. I wasn't trying to bring every detail of the situation out, but the matter wasn't handled scripturally and I was released from being held re accountable for the results by God and the accountability went to my supervisor. See, I think knowing our place as slaves to God, tied to obedience without question to what he tells us to do, lends itself to understanding. See, if I do what God says in obedience, I'm going to get understanding that I could know why did God give that instruction to begin with? Why does he have his testimonies lined up, his statutes, his laws, his guidelines for our lives? Why does he have them lined up that way? Well, when I submit to him in full obedience, it leads me to have understanding in my heart. It's impossible to come to that understanding when I disobey or when I become the aggressor, when I become the adversarial person or when I become argumentative or possess a spirit that lacks submission to those God has placed in authority over me. Interestingly, those who never assume the mantle of servant never arrive at spiritual understanding, but remain bound to the main philosophies of men and arguments founded in self-preservation and not self-denial. I, I want to repeat that because I just think it's, it's, it's got so much truth in it. Those who never assume the mantle of servant never arrive at spiritual understanding. They remain bound to vain philosophies of men and arguments founded in self-preservation and self-denial, not self-denial. 
You see, David says, I'm your servant. Give me understanding. I don't get understanding when I think I'm over, particularly over God and, over, and above his laws or above his testimonies. So David's conclusion in this matter, owning the place of being God's servant, asking God for understanding, and that being granted based upon the grace of a loving God gives the results in knowing God's testimonies, knowing them. And now we're talking about knowing them at a heart level as opposed to a rote level where we just, we got to memorize and they're up here in our head, but they're not down in our heart. They get to a heart level and we get understanding about them. And by the way, when you get understanding of God's testimonies, it leads you to abundant life. And here's witness of one result. It's found in Colossians chapter 3 and verse 12 in the Amplified. Listen to it carefully. So as God's own chosen people who are holy, set apart for his purpose, and well beloved by God himself, put on a heart of compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. And then it defines patience in the Amplified, which has the power to endure whatever injustice or unpleasantness comes with good temper. So I believe what I need and what all of us need is understanding as a servant submitted to the authority of Almighty God. Understanding leads me to know why God aligned the testimonies, the statutes, and the laws the way he did. They're for my benefit. I pray you'll hear that today and God will bless you as you pray about it. In fact, I encourage you, ask God for understanding as a servant. Be blessed. May God fill you with joy as you dig deeper into his word.